Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Lizzie and I'm a nail enthusiast. I love everything nails, uh, hauls, uh, testing products out, maybe giving my opinion and you may uh, want, uh, maybe consider that a review or not, but uh, just my personal opinion on some products that may have purchased or some organizational videos. Um, and if you haven't subscribed, what I would suggest is going back on my videos, taking a look to see if um, how you can get to know me and see if the content I'm putting out is something that is interesting to you and that you don't mind watching. And then click on that notification bell so that you can no get notified every time I add more content to my channel. Now, in today's video, I'm going to be quickly removing this set. Um, just a quick update. It's been over a week. Um, I want to say... I'll put in the screen here exactly if, if I'm wrong, but if I'm right, then what I'm saying is right and you won't see anything in the screen. I believe it's been a week and a half. Um, this one quickly broke. It's been broken for, I want to say, three to four days. Um, and I just wanted to show you the nail. It is very thin. And this is this was one of my points when it comes to this type of nails. I don't mind it. Let me just give my ultimate opinion on this. I don't mind doing this type of nails. Um, it's a quick, easy way to get your nails done when you have an event to go to and you just don't have time to go to a nail salon. Um, my only concern is how thin it is. Um, thankfully, my nail did not get damaged when it broke off. Uh, my nail is still intact. It's just the gel that's there. Uh, still covering some of my nail but if you look at it there's not enough support at the free edge of my nail um, but thankfully again my nail isn't damaged I felt barely no pain it just kind of <laughs> flicked right off um, but it's just how thin it is that gets me worried if I were to use the extra extra long extensions um, I don't know if I have enough support uh, I mean these are pretty long but I've seen longer um, and technically these types of nails are for, you know, the lazy girl method of getting your nails done and not having to worry about acrylic, about poly gel, about hard gel, about dipping. You know, this is supposed to be a quick, easy fix to that event that you want to go to and want to look put together. It's a temporary kind of design. Uh, some people dip over it. Some people put hard gel over it. Um, you know, other different types of uh, methods over it to make it last even longer I didn't because I wanted to see how long it lasts and I've got to say it did last the week uh, but once it went past the week this happened <laughs> and this obviously is my fault there's no fault of the product I mean obviously I, I was the one who bumped and broke it and um, the elephant in the room I didn't get to do this hand you guys eh. It's crazy how life is and how, you know, you have to jump from one thing to the other. <laughs> um, but I am going to be removing these today and you guys are going to see me uh, remove this product and see how easy it is to remove. Once again, I don't mind this uh, method of the lazy girl, um, you know, getting my nails done type of method. Um, I just prefer the acrylic and... I'm not going to say I'm not going to do these again. I think that if I do this method again, it'll be on shorter nails or I will cut these down to do an almond shape. I, I don't mind it that way um, for the quick, short, easy uh, type of method. So what you guys going to see me do at the beginning of the video is just watch me remove these. See how easy it is to remove. And then we're going to follow up with trying a product that I've been dying to try since I purchased it. You guys are aware that I have some products I've already purchased. They're on my um, on the side of me waiting for me to try them out. Today's turn would be Nail Prof. It's a, I ran into her channel uh, a while back and I saw that she had her own online business selling acrylic uh, monomers, uh, even Kalinsky brushes. So I bought a beginner's set and that is what we're going to be trying out today. Um, you guys are going to see me remove this and then we're going to jump right in into introducing the product to you.
I've removed the set and I gotta say um, that's just a little bit of a I couldn't get there I don't know why I couldn't get in there but that's some uh, of the polish I mean there is a lifting but it's not horrible so I gotta say for it being over a week being my first time that it it lasted pretty well and I think that if I would have gone in in the cuticle area just a little bit more um, concentrated um, that it would have been even better now I was concerned after a week it had some bubbles here it was lifted and had bubbles there and no greeny thank goodness <laughs> these are coming off today so but this is it I've just taken off all the design and the nail polish and right now I'm just gonna probably go in with a different drill bit to remove some of the tip itself and then I'm gonna soak off camera okay everyone so I have my package here um, that I purchased I'm just being careful because of my address I'm going to be opening it opening it up off camera and then I'll let you see what's inside I'm sorry it's open this way my apologies so you will kind of open it this way okay so that's my receipt my itemized receipt and I just want to show you it does come packaged uh, carefully um, the kit hey you guys I'm sorry I had to cut the audio out from this uh, part of the video because I was giving you the wrong information because the itemized receipt didn't come with the prices and everything I couldn't give you the right information right then and there however I went back and looked at the receipt that I received via email and I'm going to put in a picture inserted here. Um, the kit only comes with the monomer, the clear, and your primer. Um, so unfortunately, um, it doesn't come with everything that you see here. The acrylic brush that I purchased, the number 10, I purchased that separately. Um, now I come to think of it, the brush I got separately, the crystal... I'm sorry you guys um, the kit comes with the clear the standard set clear the primer and the monomer I ordered separately the Kalinsky brush the baby doll cover acrylic and the crystal gel top coat um, so all of that came separately it did not come in the kit together the kit alone is $60 for the ac acrylic monomer the clear acrylic and the primer that that comes in the kit the baby doll the crystal gel top coat and the Kalinsky brush I ordered separately so if you guys want to go ahead and follow the link check out her website so you can find that all for yourself her uh, online information is there so that you guys if you want to go check it out um, I will also link her channel in the description box that is Drea's nails here in YouTube um, I just happened to have run into her channel and she was sculpting these beautiful long nails. Now, when you go to her channel, you're not going to see any recent videos, but the videos that she does have up are so educational. She goes step by step on the liquid to powder ratio, not just on a specific number of brush, but different numbers of brushes and what to expect with each size. Um, so this is the Kalinsky brush. I just want to take a quick look a size 10 it comes in a size 10 with the set and I believe she just says you have to kind of um, like clean it off um, carefully not to roughen it up but just to carefully take out that film that number that comes normally um, on the brush when it's pre-shaped so I'm sure I'll have to clean this with a brush cleaner just to make sure all that uh, residue is off. So we will be testing this brush today as well. Um, but I'll, I'll continue to do that off camera. The, the brush is pretty small. It's pretty. It's like an iridescent handle, clear iridescent handle. Small because obviously it's a size 10. If I compare it, give me one second. Where's my 10? 
this is what is this now that's an eighth sorry because I have three different ones for my silver handle this is the 14 so this one's got to be the 10 uh, for my silver handle which are my favorite it's a German Kalinske nail brush I have an 8 I have a 10 and I have a 14 it just happens to be one of my favorite brushes I love all my brushes but this is my ultimate favorite and I got this through Amazon they come already pre pinched so you don't have to pinch them and they are definitely 100% Kalinske hair um, I've had this for such a long time it's last me for such a long time I I don't even think I've ever have to replace these but this is an 8 and this is a 10 for that silver handle this is her 10 I'm sorry I'm not even sure if I'm in the picture it seems very small I don't know why it's oval and maybe that's why or maybe once I break it in it'll look just as big maybe 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 if I once I have it wet and kind of shape it, it will, and it comes pinched, so you don't have to worry about pinching it either. I just feel like this is wider. It's not oval, like that one's oval, that one's more flat and square, and this is more rounded. But um, it seems smaller, for, in my opinion, in my opinion. But let's see how it works. Let me just put these away. And uh, we're also going to be testing out uh, her no white top coat today. This I will do in a separate video because I'm not testing it on myself. I'm testing it on the practice hand because I just want to see if I um, can learn how to use this particular brand. I know each brand has its own type of uh, monomer and powder and so I want to practice with with it before I try it on myself so the magic bond primer I will try on a different time um, but we will try the uh, no wipe top comb obviously we are going to try the monomer let me just now keep in mind that this is a beginner's kit uh, introducing yourself to her brand um, how much did I pay for this? Bear with me one second. I'm sorry. I'm just trying to take all that out of the table and out of the way. It doesn't have the prices. Okay. So the itemized statement does not come with an itemized, um, total of what I paid for uh, it's called the acrylic system kit standard set you can follow her link and check out the prices I know it wasn't that expensive I think it may be and I'll, if I'm wrong I'll put the information here when I look it up um, it was probably less than a hundred bucks uh, for an eight fluid ounce EMA liquid monomer to two ounce acrylic powders one in clear one in baby doll a number 10 Kalinsky brush, a no wipe top coat, and a uh, primer. It's not bad at all for uh, a beginner set. So it's, it, to me, when I purchased it, I thought it was pretty reasonable. And I wanted to try her acrylic and monomer to see if I can practice how to uh, use forms instead of tips. Today we will be using, maybe I should do a form. We'll see. When I come back after setting up, I will let you know if I'm doing a form or not or if I'm using a tip. So let me just set things up and we'll be right back. All right, guys, so the first thing I want to do is I want to swatch each acrylic. Um, so I'm going to lightly buff the surface of the swatch sticks and then go ahead and do swatches. And then we're going to try it on my beautiful Jasmine practice hands. So let's go ahead and quickly buff this uh, in a fast motion. And then we'll do real time on the swatch. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and pour some of the uh, Nail Prof EMA Nail Liquid Monomer. 
Um, it specifically says on the uh, bottle, no MMA, um, no MMA. <laughs> so we're just gonna pour just, let me, let me take the, the brush, so that way it's not gonna spill all over. We're just gonna take a little bit because I'm not sure just how much other product we're gonna be using. And to be honest, it didn't come sealed, but it came well packaged because I didn't see any spillage. So I'm happy about that. So I'm just going to kind of see if I can take some of that film. I'm not sure if you guys can see it. It's kind of floating in the product right now. It's some of the product that they use to um, kind of form the brush, protect the brush when it's being shipped. I'm not sure if you guys can see it. See? So I'm trying to clean that off the brush. me guys I don't mean to make this longer than necessary I just don't want that on the brush or on the product when I'm trying to try it out so what I'm doing is just kind of cleaning the brush if I can see any more of the, of the film there we go, there's something right there. It's a very strong scented monomer, not low odor. All right, so the one I want to uh, swatch first is the baby doll. It doesn't come sealed either. I mean, I don't have an issue with it as long as, you know, um, she's the one packing them and I'm sure she's the one um, making sure there's nothing contaminating it. So let me just, oh, let's see, I just keep finding more of that stuff from the brush. I know she recommends that you clean the brush. All right, now because, um, as you can tell, the ridges of my dappin' dish, I can't swipe this way, I have to kind of you know, touch the side of my dappin' dish to kind of let off the monomer. So I do taps instead of swiping. Um, I do one, two, or just one, depending on the size bead that I want. And keep in mind, this is a number 10 nail Kalinsky brush. So these are gonna be small um, beads, okay? So I'm gonna let it sit just for while it starts to become glazed. And then I'm gonna go ahead and lay the product down. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait a minute, this is me guys, this is not the product. So I'm not a professional, I'm just learning this brand. So far it doesn't seem that hard to move either. So. I actually, believe it or not, like the consistency of this product. So because I am using a very small brush, um, I, I'm not going to have enough um, monomer. I think I took too much powder. But I do like the consistency so far. So I'm just going to go in with two dabs this time and I just want to kind of spread the product a little bit blend it in I'm gonna tap to get it nice and even on the top oh what did I do what did I do there we go I still have to get I have to get to know the product because I feel like it can be easy to work with 
but because I don't know the, the product too well, um, I don't want to prejudge it. I'm just getting my first impression. Doesn't mean it's my final impression. Um, I don't hate it so far, so. And this is such a pretty, pretty, nice, clear pink. That is so pretty. Look at that, that's Baby Doll. You see this pink a lot in a lot of brands. It seems to be very popular. Excuse me. All right, you guys, so now we're gonna go ahead and try the clear. You know, guys, I like to, <laughs> I know it doesn't make sense to some, I mean, maybe it does, maybe it doesn't, to swatch um, clear acrylic, but I like to swatch them because I just wanna see how clear they are. So that's the reason why I'm swatching the Nail Prof um, Clear. Wow, I like it. without taking too much but I like it I really like it I may have some air bubbles in there but that's because I need to learn my application a lot more Nice. Well, that one that went on pretty easy. I like that. I like it. I just forgot to get my little towel. But look at that. I don't know if it's clear just yet. I have to wait until it dries. Um, I know I have some bubbles in there, and that's probably because of my application. Um, I try my best. <laughs> But um, I don't know if that, and, and maybe someone can comment down below if the bubbles, I mean, I, I know that it does, but does it affect how clear uh, the acrylic can be? If it has some bubbles in there, I don't know. Someone can comment that and let me know. Um, I definitely can see some bubbles on this side, so. But anyhow. That is that. I'm going to let that dry and then we're going to get my practice hand ready and we're going to attempt to use Baby Doll on a nail form. So I'll be back.
get mad when I ask what you're doing Cut me up all night, just feeling stupid For wondering where you are And why we play this same game every other weekend With my heart in the palm of the hand Throw it all apart Why let you do it? This is just so typical I'm sick of love the formula of this powder I I I don't have anything negative to say about it um, it's easy to work with very from what I can see beginner friendly um, and I think with any powder um, if you Take your time to learn the product. Any product can work if you just get to know the product. You just gotta give it a try. I think that's all I'm gonna do. I don't wanna make this a thick nail, you guys. <laughs> I don't wanna make this a thick nail. Just want to put a little bit here to make it a little even. Feel like I left a little gap there. I'm not sure why. Okay. <laughs> so I don't know how well I'm doing. Um, you guys can let me know in the comments below. <laughs> I feel like I'm creating more dense than anything else. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this dry and then once it's dry we'll come back and we will file. We'll remove the form and see um, how it's looking then. Okay, so we'll be back. You never planned Kid through the valley, we walk through the fire Your grace is amazing I trust what you're saying You never planned I know that you work every try for good If I stay, be patient I'm just gonna trust right what you're saying You never planned Kid through the valley, we walk through the fire Your grace is amazing Trust what you're saying You never play I know that you work every try for good If I stay and be patient Ooh, yeah, move up Yeah, you kicked out my feet, put me up Yeah, darkness and shadows gonna fall in the battle I think your kingdom is come Yeah, I cannot run Yeah, surrender, you fill up my cup Yeah, the reason is strive Yeah, you look me in the eye I've been your son, yeah I thought that I was going out my mind I was lost, but then you came and saved my life so you guys, I mean, what do you guys think? I don't think I did such a bad job. I mean, I think I could have done better here. Um, and it's probably because I didn't have the form aligned straight. And I don't, just in case you guys, this is a Glamour Liz hand and it's made from a true person's mold obviously with the details that you see on the hand and so I'm not sure if you can tell on this particular hand this finger um, 
if you see it, it it almost looks like the nail may grow in a different direction um, so when I try to put the forms I should have tried and aligned it more in a in, in a specific way so that it can come out straight because not every finger is perfectly straight <laughs> let's just um, I don't know why that's coming out um, but I think I could have done it a little bit better uh, with the forms and getting it more straight on there and I didn't do that so my bad I just have to keep practicing guys let me just take out the and see yep I did it crooked 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 yeah my goodness that's another thing about forms that you have to um, also you know make sure that those suckers are on the straight so but not bad I'm pretty proud of myself that's all acrylic I mean it's perfectly aligned with the free edge which is what we're trying to do on a real nail so I'm proud of myself in that aspect but as far as it being straight probably not not proud of the fact that I could not do it straight enough let me just clean the finger oops sorry guys I'm a mess and so you guys I don't I didn't think that it was hard to use a form um, at the fact that this was a silicone hand I really couldn't get it to stick to the finger I had to you know obviously put a piece of tape so that it can stay wrapped around um, but I'm sure I'm very sure that if it were a real hand it wouldn't have that problem and this is what I should have done too I'm sorry I should have just oh, I should have been able to figure out to put it in a more uh, because the in a real hand the form would stop right about there underneath the natural nail um, it would have stopped there um, but because this is not the actual nail on the finger um, it almost pushed underneath the tip um, I want to say and maybe that's why I was able to get a nice smooth transition from the free edge to the acrylic the form may have been tucked underneath uh, which is that's what's supposed to do on a real nail but because the, the tip lifts it may have gone even further rather than to stop uh, where the finger stops but anyhow I'll try it on myself next time um, maybe what I'll do is to practice more with forms uh, on my next set maybe I should do um, and just straightening out the fingers like this because um, it can you can straighten it out guys <laughs> um, maybe on my next set I'll use forms we'll see I don't know I don't want to be chasing acrylic on myself I just want to be able to do the set we'll see um, but I'm overall and let me just move the hand out of the way overall what do I think what do I think let me just let me clear things up and I'll be back <laughs> So what are my first impressions on the um, nail prof and I'm sorry I'm still trying to figure out a way to place my phone where I can get a much bigger view but right now this is the best I can give you so I apologize but what do I think first impression I'm very impressed as a first impression I I'm not saying that a form acrylic application as far as uh, a form using a form is easy by any means but there's something about this formula and when I watched her tutorial on you creating her form nails with her products and understanding um, listening to her instructions on how to go uh, to apply it was easy something about the formula that would that just made it easy now um, I do like the top coat because um, with other top coats and I haven't tried all of them just the ones that I've tried specifically the McCart and I apologize if there's a fan out there but that one always separates on me no matter how much I try it's very rare it doesn't separate this one didn't separate and so I appreciate that one with a very thin layer and I, I like it um, and it's a pretty thick formula 
Um, she does say to go in with a very thin layer when it comes to the top coat and that's exactly what I did. I took some of the top coat off on from the edge of the bottle, the tip. Uh, I took some off and then just went with a very thin layer and it's nice and even. It's not bubbled up, it's not separated. I'm, I'm happy with the top coat. I can't tell you anything about the primer because I haven't tried it yet. And I thought about maybe trying her uh, her product on its own on my own nails to see how the primer works, uh, what my opinion is on that. I only have an opinion on the top coat, the acrylic, um, the monomer. Um, it's like the, the scent of any monomer. So, um, and it works perfect with her acrylic powder. I like it. I'm not gonna lie, I really, really like it. And I'm. it's impressing to me because I. the only time I ever heard of Nail Prof, and I'm sorry if I've never heard it sooner, was when I heard Zule mention that she uses her product. And I happened to run into her channel when I was trying to look up tutorials on using forms to create a nail tip. And I'm happy that I did. So I believe that this starter kit, even though I have to say, in my opinion, the brush is too small, but for a beginner, it's perfect. It's perfect. Uh, so it, it, it's smaller than my other 10, but it's fine for a beginner. But for me, because I've tried bigger than a 10, um, I feel like this is way too small, um, but for a beginner, it's perfect. Uh, now, as far as my final thought on it, I have to play with the acrylic a little bit more. Um, I only tried the clear in the swatches, and let me bring out the swatches. I haven't buffed them or applied the clear acrylic, and I have to put some labels on them. Um, it looks like this may be crystal clear, but maybe at the end of the video I will show shots of this already buffed with the top coat on um, and the label already um, to see if it's crystal clear. I will show you. I know for a fact that you're gonna see bubbles because my application is never perfect. I'm just gonna say that. Uh, so you will see bubbles, but it's not because of the product because I, I was the one who laid it on. <laughs> but um, it, it, it appears it may be like a satin clear. I don't think it's a crystal clear. I could be wrong. But once I buff it and put the top coat and show you guys, you guys will see for yourself. But I'm very impressed with this uh, company. I will leave her channel um, and her online store linked in the description box in case any of you happen to be interested if you want to try a new product. I thought that this kit was very affordable um, and it's very quality. Very quality. It, the price fits the uh, quality of the powder. So I haven't tried her other powders. I know she has more since she came out with the line um, and I want to I'm curious about her other Kalinsky brushes because I saw a pink set that she was doing a liquid to powder ratio uh, video and they were so much cuter than this one. I'm not saying this one's not cute, but I like her other brushes better. So I may, may invest in getting uh, some of her brushes, but we'll see. Anyhow, thank you guys very much for joining me and trying out the Nail Prof um, starter kit. I very much enjoyed it. You will probably see me try this baby doll on myself. That's just a a plain look on myself. I'll probably do the last thing that I did when I used the Valentino, which is the almond shape set with just this color and maybe some decorations on top, but we'll see. We'll find out. Anyway, thank you guys for joining me. Love you all. Thank you for all your support. I hope you are safe. I hope you are blessed and I hope to see you on my next video. Bye guys.